Hi there year 9 and welcome to this video on subtracting fractions. Um, so first thing we want you to do is uh, let's get today's title um, into our books uh, along with the date and the lesson objective. And what we want to do is we want to be able to subtract fractions with simple denominators. Okay, so I'm going to start off by talking about pizza. So, suppose we have a pizza here and we can see that all the slices are pretty much the same size. Um, each pizza, each slice represents a fraction of the whole pizza. So, um, let's just see how many slices we have in total. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we've got eight slices of pizza which means each slice each slice represents one eighth of the pizza. Uh, this slice is going to be one eighth uh, this slice is going to be one eighth etc. Okay so I'm gonna um, ask the question well, I start with eight, eight eighths what happens if I eat two slices of pizza. Um, if I eat two slices of pizza, how much will I have left? Well, what I can start to think about is I'll come along and I'm going to eat this slice of pizza here. So I had eight eights to start with and after I eat this slice of pizza, what have I got left? So we're going to eat two slices of pizza here. I'm going to eat two slices of pizza. And when it's all gone, what have I got left? Well, I can say eight eights and I'm eating two slices of pizza or two eighths of pizza. So eight eights take away two eighths. What does that leave me with? Let's count. I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got six eighths left. So it's very similar to what we did when we were adding fractions with the same denominator. That's the same number underneath. So when we've got the same number underneath, we simply subtract the top numbers. Okay, let's do a couple of examples now. Um, I'm going to start by doing four fifths take away two fifths. So four take away two leaves me with two fifths. And let's actually make this example some different numbers. We have the same numbers there. Let's make some different numbers. So let's do let's do uh, nine over eleven. Take away three over eleven. So nine elevenths take away three elevenths will leave me with well nine take away three is six elevenths. Okay, so now what we want to do is attempt these questions. Okay, now the next thing I want you to do is, uh, we've got a little bit of a challenge for you. It's going to involve you practicing adding or subtracting fractions. And um, I'm going to do two examples and then you guys can finish the rest. Okay, here we go. So we want to fill in the blank spaces for every question here. And I'm going to look at question seven, uh, first of all. So suppose I've got I've got a, a blank space plus two thirteenths and that equals eleven thirteenths. I ask myself the question, what did I add to two thirteenths to make eleven thirteenths? A little bit of thought. I can say, well, nine thirteenths. Nine plus two will give me eleven. So nine thirteenths plus eleven thirteenths gives me or 9 thirteenths plus 2 thirteenths gives me 11 thirteenths. So I know that that's correct. And let's have a look at question 11 here. So I've got 9 tenths.
take away something gives me one tenth. What do I subtract from nine to make one? Again, a little bit of thought, and we can work it out to be eight. Nine tenths take away eight tenths is indeed one tenth. So I'm satisfied that both those questions are correct. Okay, <clears throat> but what happens now when the number underneath is not the same? How can I work it out? Let's let's go back to our pizza and uh, think about this again. So remembering that each slice is worth one eight, and we had eight slices in total. Suppose um, somebody comes along and decides, well, I'm going to eat a slice. So the person comes along and says, yeah, I'll have a slice. And they eat, they eat the whole thing. But then somebody else comes along and decides, mm, I'm just going to have a little bit. I can see at this moment now, I have seven eights left. I've got seven eighths of the pizza left. But somebody comes along now and says, mm, I'm just going to eat a little bit. So somebody has just taken a bite out of our pizza. They've taken off some of it. How much pizza do I have left? I know for certain I've got one, two, three, four, five, six eighths left, but I'm not really sure what fraction of the pizza is this worth. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to generate equivalent fractions. Okay, so let's have a look at a couple of examples here. Suppose I've got three quarters and I want to take away five eighths. Okay, we've got different numbers here. So it's like taking a different size slice from our pizza. I need to make them of the same type. Well, a little trick to doing this is um, I'm going to look at three quarters, so I'm going to make three quarters, I'm going to turn that into, I'm going to make three quarters into um, something divided by eight. Three quarters. Okay. And one way to generate equivalent fractions is I, if I increase the bottom by four each time and increase the bottom by three each time, I can work my way up to the correct answer. Um, three quarters, so I'm going to add, increase the bottom by four, that makes it eight, and increase the bottom by three, that would make it six. So three quarters is the same as six eighths. So now I can write my question as six over eight, take away five over eight, and just like before now, it's easy to do, six over eight, take away five over eight, is simply one over eight. Okay, let's have a look at the next example here. Um, I've got four fifths and I'm subtracting one over 25. Again, we've got different numbers underneath the lines, five and 25. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to see if I can turn this five into a 25. So let's write our fraction down, four over five here. Um, so, to generate an equivalent fraction, I can increase the bottom by five each time and increase the top by four each time. So increasing the bottom by five, we'll get 10, and the top goes up by four, gives me eight. So again, increasing the bottom by five, 15, and the top by four, 12, increasing the bottom by five, 20, increasing the top by four, 16, Increasing the bottom by 5, 25, and increasing the top by 4, 20. Okay. So what we're doing is I'm going to add, I'm adding 4 to the top each time, but adding 5 to the bottom. Add 4 to the top, add 5 to the bottom, etc. Right the way across until we get to a denominator. Of 25 in this case okay so I know that 4 over 5 is the same as 20 over 25 so let's write that down 20 over 25 minus 1 over 25 and this is just like we did earlier 20 over 25 minus 1 over 25 equals 
of 20 minus 1 is 19 over 25. Excellent. So now let's have a look at our final example. 6 over 7 minus 3 over 21. Again, notice we've got different numbers underneath, so I'm going to try and change the first one into um, something over 21. So let's just write it down over here, 6 over 7. Okay. So this time, if I increase the top by 6 each time, add 6 to the top, and I can add 7 to the bottom. So add 6 to the top, I get 12. Add 7 to the bottom, I get 14. That didn't quite work. Um, again, I'm going to add 6 to the top, add 7 to the bottom. Add 6 to the top, add 7 to the bottom. And when we do that, we get 18 over 21. Fantastic. I can stop here now because I've got it over 21. So 6 over 7 is the same as 18 over 21 and 18 over 21 take away 3 over 21 leaves us with 15 over 21 and what I've not what I can actually notice here is I might be actually able to simplify this fraction so I can think if I was to group this 15 and this 21 into uh, the same number. What, what what group could I put them into? I can group the 15 into 3's and I can group 21 also into 3's. So if I group 15 into 3's I get 5 groups and if I group 21 into 3's I get 7. So the answer to this question is actually 5 over 7. Okay that's enough from me. Um, you're going to have a go at these questions now, so pause the video if you don't have the worksheet and try and attempt these questions. Okay, that's all from me. Um, hope you, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you again sometime. Take it easy.